Roxy. So I'm going to be showing you guys a DIY project on how to get these really cool armhole t-shirts that are super trending right now and really casual, really just really cool. You could wear them for a day at the beach, maybe a pool party, just anywhere extremely casual. But make sure you do wear a bandeau underneath because you don't want your goodies exposed everywhere. So I also have some really exciting news. I'm on a new show on Awesomeness TV called Make Me Over. I will put the link right here and I will actually put their channel down in the description box. So make sure you go subscribe to their channel on YouTube, Awesomeness TV. And basically the show Make Me Over, we basically give young girls that suffered from like depression or maybe they have been bullied at school and lost confidence in themselves and we want to basically revamp them and make them feel confident again and um, I mean it's so inspirational and I'm part of the glam squad and I basically do the styling there's a hair and makeup girl there's a hair and then there's a makeup girl and then Bethany Moda who is the host um, and she does a fabulous job and if you guys know who Bethany is, that's MacBarbie07. She also does their show on Awesomeness TV called IMO where they talk about teen things and um, like boys and you know shopping and makeup etc. So make sure you go subscribe to Awesomeness TV. I'm going to put the link down below so go check them out. And I mean they have comedy, they have the make me over, they have the IMO, they have so much good stuff. Okay, so first things first, you wanna make sure you stretch the fabric and you wanna make sure that you stretch it pretty well because we are gonna be tying it in a knot around the waist area and you don't want it to fit too snug, so make sure you stretch the fabric really well. After stretching, you wanna make sure you lay the fabric nice and neatly on the floor because we are gonna be cutting and you don't wanna cut it too short or too, or too big. So these are actually just regular paper scissors um, and these scissors here are actually fabric scissors. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the fabric scissors. Um, it's just more durable for the fabric but if you don't have those then the paper scissors will work just fine. Okay, so first you wanna measure about two inches from the neck area on the shoulder, and you could just eyeball it. It doesn't have to be exact, but about an inch and a half to two inches. And we're gonna basically be cutting all the way down about another two to an inch and a half, whatever you measured up on top. And you're basically just gonna start cutting from that side, and then you're gonna do the other side. So let's get started. Okay, so now that we're done cutting, you're gonna see the armhole effect. There's the armhole, and it's on both sides, and you wanna make sure that you stretch the fabric as well. So this is how it looks at the end. So what I did is just tie two knots with the front piece and the back piece on the side, and I think it's so cute. I paired it with a bandeau underneath because you don't want your goodies exposed. And I paired it with these cute high-waisted shorts because it was really open a lot on the side, and I didn't want a lot of my skin showing. So if you just pair it with high-waisted shorts, it covers a lot of the skin, and the bandeau looks really cute. And I paired it with these tribal printed shorts because it just gives it that bohemian kind of feel to it. And those are my fringe boots. Okay, so this shirt is going to be a little different because the fabric is sheer. So sheer is a little bit harder to cut, but we are going to do basically the exact same thing that we did on the first shirt, except um, because there's so many patterns with this shirt, I'm actually just going to cut alongside the seam and I don't want to cut off the shoulder, um, so I'm actually just going to leave the shoulder piece there and I'm cutting up and you'll see now.
Okay, so now that we're done cutting, and I cut up until the inside of the shoulder, it leaves this rigid, ugly kind of lines. I was telling you that sheer fabric is really hard to cut. Any kind of sheer or satin kind of fabric, anything that's really light and delicate is gonna leave this really ugly, rigid line. So we don't want it to make it look like we just made it at home even though we did. So I'm gonna show you now how to get rid of these ugly, rigid lines on the sides of the shirt. So what we're going to do to get rid of these ugly rigid lines, you're basically going to begin pulling against the grain. So against the grain just means pulling the opposite direction that the fabric is basically knitted in. You could actually pull it either way up or down. It really doesn't matter because it's going to give it still the same effect and it's going to basically leave these really cool like fringe little pieces on the side which I think is really cool for this look because it kind of goes with that whole bohemian feel and I think it's going to look so fabulous. Okay, so now that we're done fringing the sides, we're actually going to tie the sides in a knot. We're going to take the front piece and the back piece and tie them in a knot on the sides and you're going to do the same thing with the other side. Grab the front and the back and tie it in a knot. So this is the finished look. I think it looks so cute. So I basically kept the same tribal printed shorts from the first look and the same bandeau necklace and accessories um, because it's just really cute. It goes with that whole bohemian feel as I was saying in the beginning. And I think it just looks so gorgeous. It's kind of like a bohemian goddess, I feel like. I think it looks so cute with the tribal shorts. And again, you want to keep it high-waisted so that way you don't show too much of the skin. And the bandeau just does a wonderful job at covering a lot of the skin too. So this is how the bottom looks. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.